Hi, so in video 1428 we made this thing which has a magical rotating floating bearing and of course it's ideal for a lot of low friction machines. Now there's been lots of really good suggestions including a Mendocino motor, an electrostatic motor and all kinds of things and I am going to investigate that a little bit and have a look at some of those machines and how they'll perform in such a nice bearing system. But the first thing I wanted to do was actually a um, rubber powered heat engine. Now these were quite popular for a while and what you really do is take a disc, stretch some rubber bands on it, heat the rubber bands and the rubber bands oddly enough um, contract on heating rather than expanding on heating. Because most materials expand on heating, rubber does the opposite. What that should do is pull a ring out, in, out of uh, centre and cause rotation, it's what it's supposed to do. And there were plans to use this, it, it was a, a chap made a version, I think it was a half horsepower version, and there were plans to make a five horsepower version. Now it's not renowned for being the most quick of motors, but it's certainly interesting and it, it does require a bit of low friction, so we thought we'd give this a go. So the thing we have to do really is make a ring, I'm going to make a ring out of this lump of plastic and cut a ring. Uh, and then stretch some rubber bands over it using these, which are bits of transformer, as uh, spaces on, uh, as on, on the edge of the ring to bear the stresses so it just, just doesn't pull straight through. Anyway, let's get this cut out. So we have our disc and four rubber bands, and what we're going to do is use this Put a rubber band over it, and you'll notice the disc has notches in it, and the rubber band sits in that notch like that. And then we put the other rubber band on the other side and pull it into the centre. like that and we do the same thing on those other two sides and that's how we get this fitted into the centre of a ring made up of rubber bands. Okay so that's it together and you'll notice these little metal bits they're pulled from a transformer core actually and they're there because our wheel is plastic so when this gets hot those rubber bands are just going to pull through the plastic so that's to stop them and spread that a little bit so we can get a result out of it. You'll also notice there's a big blob of blue tack right there and that's because I've uh, balanced this or bothered to do a little bit of balancing with it and that's you put it in a position it stays in that position if it rotates and falls into the position then that self rotation is where it's a bit heavy so you stick something on the opposite side so it's been roughly balanced and that's what that lump is anyway let's give it a go Okay, so I have to say, that was less than impressive, eh? I think the rate of rotation was something like uh, 2 RPD, and RPD is rotations per day. It's really slow. But, I mean, it's only four elastic bands, and it makes a really interesting investigation, that's for sure, and it certainly works. And like I say, there were plans to make this in uh, five horsepower units, so I figure with more rubber, it would be stronger. But that particular version... It was a question of patience to get a result out of it, but we got a result out of it and it certainly works. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.